Welcome to The Cannabis Investor. Today we have a very exciting interview with Avtar Dillon, Executive Chairman of Emerald Therapeutics. Let's jump right in. Good afternoon, Avtar, and thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Let's say we are stuck in an elevator and I'm asking you to introduce me to Emerald Therapeutics in 60 seconds or less. What do you say? Emerald Therapeutics is a Canadian federally licensed producer of cannabis and sellers. Um, we are very much focused on becoming a global leader in the industry in terms of the production capability, the quality, uh, and uh, most importantly, downstream product development. We have a very strong scientific focus and extremely experienced uh, leadership team that comes from the pharmaceutical and nutraceutical industry. We have a broad range of portfolio of uh, botanical products that um, lend themselves well to medical applications. We are expanding our capability considerably, which all means that we have the ability to be able to produce enough cannabis to supply a half of the country of Canada for multiple years. Describe the strategy that EMH took when appointing Chris Wagner, experienced pharmaceutical marketing and biotech executive, as CEO. Chris is an accomplished pharmaceutical executive. Uh, he has extensive marketing uh, skills and um, we're very excited about his leadership, uh, particularly um, when it comes to uh, product development product development both in the medical side and as the adult use um, uh, products um, uh, are coming into the marketplace. Um, he, he has uh, uh, under his belt uh, extensive experience with uh, Eli Lilly where he developed uh, and commercialized 15 biologic and small molecule products. Uh, products like Prozac, Cialis, that Prexa, uh, these products uh, reached uh, sales of over $4 billion. So once again, we're very excited about um, him lending his extensive amount of experience in drug discovery, product development, intellectual property, creation, partnership, uh, deals, etc. We were intrigued when we read your discovery about THCA and its medical benefits for Huntington's disease and other metabolic diseases. Can you outline the future potential market of this discovery and if it is something you could patent for future monetization? Yeah, we're quite uh, excited about the capability of THCA. This is a prodrug to THC. THC, as you know, has uh, psychotropic properties. So it's great to have a molecule that has uh, the medical uh, benefits of THC uh, without the psychotropic effects. We did an exciting experiment uh, in mice where we were able to demonstrate with THCA that uh, it uh, potentially has neuroprotective uh, effects. So uh, that's a, if, if that uh, finding were to be extended into humans, uh, then uh, obviously that would have a profound uh, impact on diseases uh, like Huntington's and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. We're pretty excited about trying to develop um, uh, THCA uh, for you know multiple applications. Seeing as though EMH is very rooted in the science of cultivation, what do you see the future looking like in terms of strain developments for specific patient ailments? This is a, uh, an exciting area uh, because there has been a lot of uh, anecdotal evidence to suggest that certain strains, uh, meaning that the chemical profile of the plant may have a different influences on human physiological function. So uh, we're lucky at Emerald that we have a very large selection of strains. Uh, we're characterizing them. We actually even have a, a, a funding from the uh, uh, National Research Council to characterize our strains. And I'm trying to um, uh, determine the chemical profile and then trying to uh, um, uh, do uh, clinical studies, which then uh, may end up uh, supporting that uh, a particular strain may be better for pain or inflammation or sleep. Is that the direction you see the company going in order to diversify away from a company producing a commoditized product and to differentiate yourself from your competitors? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I think uh, uh, as you're going to see over time, people are going to be less and less focused on on production and extraction. Um, what we're focused on is not only the past user, but the future user. 
you know, is the, is the future user going to be using it in, in forms of pills and capsules, inhalers, patches, etc., uh, you know, uh, versus, uh, you know, the traditional use that we're uh, all familiar with. So if we can have a very consistent product that is uh, uh, scientifically developed, evidence-based, um, you know, then that uh, product in a particular dosage form and a particular delivery format uh, could have utility on a global basis. So we're very much uh, in, uh, in, interested uh, in downstream product development. Once again, Avatar, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks, Jessica. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, thank you. We look forward to keeping up to date with Emerald Therapeutics and watching the expansion in the near future. To all of our viewers, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Cannabis Investor. Remember to follow us on Facebook to keep up to date with all of our latest posts.